All right, we have to stretch this out this week, and I hope you guys understand that with me leading in this thing, that I'm giving you all an extra chance to catch us up by doing a couple of prop bets prior to the Super Bowl. Comment. No, this sounds like a, a <laughs> eulogy is what it sounds like, but go on. All right, I have one game. Uh, Greg, hey, welcome. Greg Conn is joining us, as always, on our pick segment. So what we're doing, we're taking two prop bets, either uh, passing, receiving, or rushing yard totals from among any of the players involved in the Super Bowl a week hence. Uh, and just so that we understand how things are going, I'm just going to get mine out of the way first. I'm taking of uh, Kansas City. I'm taking Marquez Valdez Scantling over 19.5 yards receiving, and I'm taking Patrick Mahomes over 25.5 rushing yards. Oh. Those are my two picks. What do you got, Greg? Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I get this right, Bill. This is a, this is a betting <laughs> is so scheme for me, and I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not good at this stuff, but. Well, I'm your record with, demonstrates that. I'm, <laughs> don't, don't. In my don't picks, right? Greg, my picks of the it. year. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with, with Ayuk with over 63 and a half yards receiving. Uh, him being that secondary receiver in Kansas City's defense, I think he's going to do that. And then I'm going with Brock Purdy having more than 11 and a half yards rushing against the Kansas City uh, defense. What is going on in this room right hey, now? Hey, what hey, are you guys hey, doing? Did you like not this. see his rushing yards <laughs> in the second half of that game? Which is why he ain't going to do it again. I don't I don't know about that. They had to come back and win that game, so that ain't that bad of a bet. That I think he bad. found himself. I think he found his secondary reserve of what's going to separate him from other quarterbacks these days. And He's going to become the next Josh Allen. Oh. I just that's a one up. So, so look, you're taking two San Francisco guys, Greg. Is that to say, uh, sort of peeking into the future, that you're leaning San Francisco in the game? Uh, I always bet with my heart, Bill. So uh, that could be an indication of where I'm leaning, yes. Uh, I'll have to go with the, uh, the receiving yards for George Kittle. I mean, I just think that 49 point. Five is just way too low. He, if you if really heard any sort of thoughts on what he thought about losing that Super Bowl and getting back to that Super Bowl, I think he'll play a big game. Part of him, I think, because he's the showman, wants to outshine his fellow tight end and Kelsey. So I look for a big night for day for George Kittle. I think he's over 49.5. Okay, you got one? Uh, I got two, bud. And look, let's talk logic now. Thank you, guys. I would like to thank all of you for the picks you just made. Patrick Mahomes. You kind of flipped up. Patrick Mahomes, despite all of this run that everyone's talking about, has had a pretty pedestrian statistical playoffs. He's at 260 and change for over-under on passing yards. I'm going under on that. Also, they have Christian McCaffrey at 90 and a half rushing yards over-under. Have you guys seen the rushing defense for the Chiefs this year? The Bills tore them apart until those last couple of drives. The Ravens didn't even try them, despite the fact that Lamar was getting chunks of yardage when he pulled the ball down, and they were getting 5, 10, 15-yard chunks with their running backs. I am going over with McCaffrey on the rushing yards, and it's done, guys. It's done. <laughs> so it's over McCaffrey. What was the other one? Over McCaffrey, under on passing for uh, Patrick Mahomes. And you owe us one more. I, I will throw in Debo Samuels. He's uh, averaging, they're saying about... Man, 15 yard. I think that's over. You got to go over with the Debo Samuels, even though he's got that shoulder injury. Yeah, these are fun. And this again is also is only because I couldn't find a line on the flag football game. I looked. <laughs> I honestly looked. I got a guy. You should have called me. <laughs> a guy. I got a guy. All right. Mm. Hey, Greg. Uh, our first. Uh, our first uh, segment conversation involved like you know expectations, Buffalo Bills, and like maybe you have to dial them down. Not so much that they're not a Super Bowl contender, but. There's so many teams, and it's so hard to get there. Like, to what degree do you appreciate what the Bills did this year? Well, I think with the injuries that they had and how they overcame that, particularly come to the end of the year, that's something for them to build on. I like what they're doing with the defense. Uh, McDermott bringing or giving Babbage more responsibilities and evolving and learning. He, the players love him. He brings great energy. And, and uh, you know, it always stinks this time of year as a Bills fan because you're looking at Valentine's Day thinking when's the draft going to be. But uh, I am looking forward to training camp come Rochester in the fall, in the spring, in the summer. 